This is the month of July. This is the most important time of protecting the vineyards, protecting the vines. And what we like to do here in, at, at Chateau Maris is using uh, herbs and flowers in order to stimulate the vineyards stimulate the vines to help themselves, to help them protect themselves naturally. So we're using uh, stingy nettles, Urtica, Urtica doica, which we're using at about roughly 100 grams, 100 grams per hectare. We're going to put this now in this tank here, which has um, got some boiling water in, and we're just going to let it infuse for about 20 minutes. So off we go now. Yannick, si tu peux m'enlever le sel là. Merci. Right. Sting nettles is absolutely packed full of magnesium uh, and calcium. It's a, it's a great natural protector. We got some chamomile flowers. These go at about uh, 10 grams per hectare. We use about 30 liters of water per hectare. Really beautiful, sweet, sweet smelling chamomile flowers. All these flowers, including the steam nettles, are picked at particular times corresponding to the biodynamic indications. Uh, biodynamic indications, each flower has its most potent period. They are prepared according to a, to a biodynamic method. We don't actually perform that uh, here on the farm. Is performed by a, a local person who prepares each of these plants for us. For instance, the chamomile, he'll put that into uh, the intestines of um, the, the intestinal tubes of a cow, and then he'll bury that in the earth during a certain period. Then he'll unearth it uh, and deliver it to us in one of these sealed sacks. So that's the basis of our treatment during this, this period, June, July, uh, up to early August, when we are watching over our vineyards and protecting them uh, from their predators. And we like to do this in a natural as way possible, stimulating the vine rather than just protecting it. Malicieuse. Malicieuse is cheeky in English. A malicieuse is a percheron. It's the largest uh, size of horse in France. She pulls about three times her weight and was mainly used for plowing our vineyards. We do this in order to help us uh, retain life in the soil. We're giving lots of compost. We're giving lots of live matter into the soil. We don't want to continually be driving up and down in heavy three-ton tractors. We prefer to be going across our land with the heavy hooves of the likes of Malicieuse. It's very good to have animals on the farm as well. It works very well with the employees and everybody who's working on the farm to actually give a hand to the animals. It takes away the monotony of the, the vegetable side of vineyards. Voila Pascal, the glasses, thank you very much. Old Vine Syrah 2005. Um, this particular out of a new barrel. We put 10% of our production in barrel, one third of it in new barrels, the other third in one year old barrels and the other third in two year old barrels. Okay. 
yes, you see this one is new, new barrel really starting to take wood there. Great. Absolutely gorgeous, deep black, purple colour. And a very powerful, ripe cherry, almost, almost, it's almost sort of strawberry-like in, in the nose. Really delicious Grenache. It is a particular variety which is quite difficult to, to control. It doesn't tell you what it's going to do, it just does it by itself. Tremendous balance, extremely seductive, absolutely delicious. How are we going to stop ourselves from drinking all the barrel right now? I don't know. This is really the moment when the wine is relaxing and when the wine is reposing itself. It really is the time when the wine is evolving. It's gone through all the processes. We shouldn't disturb it too much. I, I don't rack out of barrels very regularly. I don't have to therefore use uh, any more sulfur than is, than, than is naturally within the wine itself. Once again, very distinct flavor of the variety, but also this particular time of the year, the wood is, is, is powering over. This is a new barrel.